putting a one-of-a-kind honor for America's greatest generation, and it's happening tonight in Byron Center. Students at the high school organized this event. They were inspired by a teacher who found a unique way to get his seniors more involved in a project than he ever thought they would be. I think that's good. The 12th graders at Byron Center High School are too young to have grandparents who fought in World War II. Can I watch from the beginning? But their teacher, Mr. Muir, isn't. Maybe you could have some text over the top of it. He regrets never recording the many stories his grandfather told him before he died. That really like hit me deep um, when that happened. And so when I started teaching, I was thinking, like, how can I, how can we like stop this from happening? That was taken for we went overseas. Trevor Muir came up with a unique assignment for his English class. You guys script out or at least outline what we want to say today when we make that video. Interview the veterans who live at the retirement home down the road from the school. It was awesome. I had the best time going there. It was really cool to learn their stories and to carry them on now. The class took these videos and created a documentary. Where are you uh, stationed for most of the world? Yes, Brussels. For Bob, we chose humble soldier. They combined their other skills, like art, to make posters, adding personal touches to highlight each story. He was like, well, I have this award, like I have all these awards. And we looked at him and we're like, oh, you're a Purple Heart recipient. Just that like a mile and a half away, there's veterans that fought the Nazis in D-Day that no one knows their stories besides their families and we're just trying to get those stories out there. The students decided to take the project further and put on a special event in the auditorium honoring their newfound friends. Now all of a sudden it's not just about the grade book, it's about serving these veterans, it's about putting on this event. Like everyone in our class is like putting everything they've got into doing this project and just that we're all like working so hard to do it all and make it work. There's heroes in this town that are almost forgotten, and I hope their stories stay with them, and they pass them on to everybody they see. There's not many veterans left from these wars, and having their stories out there, more young people can understand like what the war was like back then. So hopefully a lot of people show up, but if not, our, our hope is that the veterans will feel honored when it's over. The youngest generation, making sure no one forgets the greatest generation. And the greatest generation, those veterans will all be in the front row, so hopefully they will feel very honored uh, making it to tonight's event. And what a move for these students. They came up with this. They created a whole lot more work for themselves <laughs> than they originally had, and I can tell that they're just so happy with yeah, how this it, is all. I mean, it seems like they certainly got more out of this assignment than they probably anticipated, but so did the veterans as well, it seems like. And hopefully you can too. The students and the vets hope that you will make it tonight to watch this documentary, hear the stories. It's at the high school auditorium at 6 o'clock. It is free, and everyone is invited.